Hello everyone and welcome back to 55 Fitness. My name is Emily and today I have one of our 55 Fitness instructors, Sam. She's gonna guide us through a workout today. 55 Fitness specializes in group fitness classes and personal training for women ages 55 plus. At 55 Fitness, no one ever feels intimidated, overwhelmed, out of shape or out of place. I'm Emily, come and join us. Okay, hello everyone. So for today's little mini class, we are gonna be doing an upper body workout. So what we're gonna be using for equipment is a set of weights. But if you don't have weights at home, no worries. You can always use a set of soup cans, maybe filled up water bottles or something like that. How our little exercise routine will go today is we are gonna be starting off with a warm up. Then we're gonna get into a circuit of three upper body exercises. We're gonna repeat that circuit twice through, and then we'll finish off with a little bit of a cool down. So that being said, are you ready to get going? Yeah, let's get going. So we'll start, it off, we'll start it off with our warm up. So just roll those shoulders back so we're ready to go, and we're just gonna start off with that march. Starting to get that body moving. Perfect. From here, we're gonna make a little change into our wide and narrow. What it's gonna look like is you're going to make two big steps out in front like you're making a V with those feet. We go in three, two, one. You take it out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Nice. Really bending those knees on that wide. Making those steps nice and big. Once we have it, option to add those arms in three, two, last one, add those arms up, up, in, in, up, up, in, if in. If the arms are too much, just follow along with me with the feet. Nice job. Three more, two, last one. Keep that march going, but this time widen that stance. Perfect. From here, we're going to start off with just a toe tap on that right side in three, two, one. It's tap, 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 tap. Perfect. Tap, tap. Nice. Once we have it, option again to add those arms. Crossing over that body in three, two, last one. Add that arm across. Reach, reach. Three, two, last one. Nice. We're gonna do a couple more warm-up exercises for those shoulders down on our mats. So we are gonna be setting up in what we call our tabletop position. So I wanna set up with our wrists right underneath our shoulders, our knees stacked right underneath those hips. Starting off in that neutral position, we're gonna do a couple rounds of our cat and cow. So what that looks like, first we'll start with our cat pose. I want you to think about pressing that upper back up towards the ceiling. So pulling that belly to your spine. You can think of looking towards your belly button in this cat pose and keep breathing throughout. Nice. From here, we're gonna make that change to our cow pose. So you're gonna lead with your tailbone one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna make that change. Gaze comes up towards the ceiling. Feeling that stretch in the core. Always the think of the movement is coming from the base of your spine all the way up. Perfect, one more round. So we're gonna make that switch again. Again, leading with the tailbone. One vertebrae at a time, pressing that spine up towards the sky. Look towards that belly button. And back to cow. So again, leading with the tailbone. Gaze comes up towards the ceiling. Big breaths here. Nice work. Finding that neutral position again. So we're set up again in our tabletop position. 
from here, we're gonna do a couple of protraction and retraction with those shoulder blades. So first we're gonna protract, so thinking about pressing away from that mat. Really pulling those scapulas apart along your back. And then we're gonna retract. So we're gonna think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. You can think about a pencil in between your shoulder blades, pulling those scapulas in and around that pencil. And we're gonna do one more time through. So again, protraction, pressing away from the mat. And retraction, again, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And as you're squeezing, try and keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Setting back up in a neutral position. A couple more moves here. We're gonna think about rolling our shoulders back in this tabletop position. So shoulder circles back. And if you're finding your upper back is really tight in this position, what you can do instead is just come up to a nice tall position here and roll your shoulders up and back if you'd like. Or stay where Sam is. I want us to do three more circles here. Last one. And done, nice work. We are getting ready to do our upper body exercises. So now making our way back to a standing position, you're gonna find your set of weights or whatever you're using for your weights. And our first exercise is gonna be our shoulder L raise. So for this one, you're gonna to wanna to think about keeping those feet a little wider than hip distance apart, shoulders stacked right over those hips, rib cage stays closed. Palms are gonna face in towards your thigh. We're gonna lift those arms up to an L position and slowly lower back down. We're gonna switch every time, all right? So we're gonna be doing this for one minute as we do this exercise, I want you to think it takes you just as long to get to the bottom as it takes you to get to the top. That's gonna to make sure we're in control of that movement and we're using that muscle instead of that momentum. So getting set up, we're gonna do this exercise for one minute, starting in five, four, three, two, one. So it's that lift. We don't need to go up any higher than that shoulder height. And in this exercise, you can also think about your core muscles here. So you wanna really think about both hips facing forward as we go along. So not allowing your body to twist as we take one arm front and one arm side. So really trying to keep your core muscles engaged, keep them tight, belly drawn in as we lift our arms up to shoulder height. Nice. Keeping those shoulders away from your ears. And if you'd like to pair your breath with this, you can think of exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. We have five, four, three, two, one, and done. Nice work, rolling those shoulders back. We're gonna get into our next exercise, which is gonna work that back. We're gonna get into our hinged row. So for this one, we wanna hinge at that hip, Again, slight bend in the knee. Our goal is to have that nice long line from the top of your head down to your tailbone. You really wanna think about sticking your glutes out towards your back wall as you hinge forward. Perfect. From here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna guide those arms along the side body, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top and lowering. So that same squeeze that we did in our warm up, we've just kind of added that weight to it. That being said, if it becomes too much and we're not quite feeling that same squeeze, option to go down to a lighter weight or go weight free. Okay, so getting set up for that minute, hinging at your hip, find that nice neutral spine. We go in five, four, three, two, one. So it's that squeeze and lower. And Sam, where should we be looking in this exercise? You wanna look down to the floor, just slightly in front of you. That's gonna keep your neck 
in that neutral position. Sounds good. And we can think again about that pencil behind our back, squeezing that pencil as our shoulder blades draw in around the pencil. Really working those upper back muscles. Really thinking about that squeeze, that little hold at the top. Keep breathing throughout. You can exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down, or just keep breathing. You're so close. Finishing this exercise strong, you have 10. Keep drawing those elbows up nice and high. You have five, four, three, two, one, and done. Ooh. Okay, for our next exercise, we are gonna be coming down to our mats and we're gonna be getting into our chest press. So how I want you guys to set up for this one is we're gonna be laying back on our mats. But before we get down there, I want you to grab your weights, bringing them in towards your chest and then slowly lowering ourselves back down to that mat. Whenever we're in this position, I want you to think about pulling your belly to your spine so there's no space between that low back and the mat. We're gonna set up with our arms in that goal post position. That means your wrists should stack right over those elbows. From here, what is going to happen is we're going to press those weights up and lower back to goal post. Every time we lower, I want you to think of those elbows tapping the floor and you're gonna think about squeezing the chest muscle at the top. We don't need to walk out through those arms, little bend, in those elbows is okay. What I do want you to watch for is making sure those weights stay stacked right over the chest so they're not creeping up above the face or low down over the belly, all right? So getting set up in that goal post position, pull your belly button to your spine. We're gonna start that chest press in five, four, three, two, one. It's that press and tap the elbows. Press and lower. Think about using that breath, inhaling on the lower, exhaling on that press up. Make sure you're always guiding the weight, those weights up right in line with your chest. Make sure they're not over your belly button or over your face, right in line with the chest every single time. And as you guide those elbows down, those elbows can be a little bit lower than shoulders keeping those shoulders down, away from your ears. Perfect, we're over that halfway mark. Keep it up, ladies. Focusing on that form, we still have that low back press towards the mat. Keep those ribs down, core engaged. You have five, four, three, two, one, and done. Slowly bringing those weights into the chest. We're gonna slowly and safely roll onto our side, making our way back up to a standing position. We get to repeat those three moves. Nothing's gonna change. We're just gonna repeat everything through one more time. If you need to grab that quick sip of water, you can but then we're gonna get right back into it, all right? So setting up, again, just that reminder, we're starting with that L raise. Slight bend to those knees. We go in five, four, three, two, one. It's that lift and slow controlled lower. And as we're doing this exercise, you can also think about your spine, making sure your shoulders, ribs, and hips are in line. So make sure we're not standing like this. Get those hips right underneath the shoulders as we're lifting and lowering in this exercise. So if you have a mirror at home, you could always check your form in the mirror, making sure that spine is directly in line. Perfect. Again, placing those weights instead of swinging, checking in we're not leaning back at all. We're in control of this movement. So close, we are almost there. Keep it up. Final five, four, three, 
two, one, and done. Rolling those shoulders back. Again, our next one is going to be that hinged row. So just like we did last time, we're hinging at that hip, thinking about sending our glutes back. Nice long line from the top of your head down to your tailbone. Arms are gonna come out long. We start that row in five, four, three, two, one. It's that squeezing the shoulder blades together and lower, thinking about that imaginary pencil as we squeeze. Weights coming up to the side of your chest every single time you row up, getting those elbows up nice and high. Again, using that breath, so thinking of exhaling on that lift, inhaling on that lower. Keep that soft bend in the knees. Weight, you can think of having it back in your heels. That'll help to keep that spine nice and long, sitting back in your glutes. Keep it up, final 10 seconds here. Keep pushing through it all the way to the end. You have five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna make our way back down to our mats for our final exercise, which is going to be that chest press. So again, making our way down safely. Again, bringing our weights into our chest before lowering down to the mat. Belly pulse to spine, no space between that low back and the mat. We set up in that goal post position. Weights are in line with that chest. We start that chest press in five, Four, three, two, one. It's that press, pressing those weights away from your body and lowering. Elbows tap. Remember, it's your chest muscles, your pec muscles that are doing the work in this exercise as well as your shoulders. So that's where we should be feeling this movement. Really think of squeezing those chest muscles, those pecs, as you bring those weights up. Keep that breath going. Checking in with that four, making sure that those weights are pressing up right in line with that chest. We are almost there. Keep it up, ladies. You have five, four, three, two, one, and done. Slowly bringing those weights down towards your chest. Again, slowly rolling onto your side, placing those weights down, and we're gonna slowly make our way up to that standing position. So doing so safely. Okay, so we're gonna roll those shoulders back and we're gonna get into a cool down for that upper body. Starting with that shoulder muscle, you're gonna take your right arm, it's gonna come across your body, you're gonna think about rolling your shoulder down away from your ear. Really opening up through the back of that shoulder, deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Good, try and go deeper into that stretch as we keep breathing here. And slowly releasing. We're gonna do the same thing on that other side. Opposite arm comes across the body. Again, rolling that shoulder down away from your ear. Not holding our breath, really thinking of those big deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Slowly releasing that stretch. We're gonna stretch out to that tricep neck. So we're gonna take that right arm, it's gonna come up overhead, fingertips reach down the spine. And you can always grab here as well in the tricep stretch. If you can't quite reach overhead like this, we can grab right here on that elbow and pull back. Keeping that rib cage closed. And slowly releasing, same thing on that other side. Opposite arm comes up and over. Fingertips reach down the spine. A 
Again, keeping that breath going. Slowly releasing. And from here, we're gonna stretch out through that upper back. We're gonna interlace those fingers in front. We're gonna pull them away from your chest, tucking that chin under, really opening up through that upper back. rolling those shoulders back one final stretch opening up through that chest we're going to interlace those fingers behind we're going to bring them up to a slight hover off of those seat slight bend in the knee gaze comes up towards the ceiling every exhale think of drawing that chest out a little bit more and pulling those arms back and up Slowly releasing that stretch, rolling those shoulders back. And you guys have completed your upper body workout for the day. So great job. Yes, awesome job. Well, thank you so much, Sam, for guiding us through this upper body workout. That was awesome. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe to our channel. And we'll be back another day with another workout. See you then. Bye.